और बेटा आज रिजल्ट निकलने वाले थे ना कैसा हुआ बताओ बताओ सारा दिन मोबाइल में बैठा रहता है पढ़ाई तो करनी ही नहीं है तुम्हें ये क्या पढ़ाई हुई ये करने में था ट्यूशन नॉट यूजिंग योर फुल पोटेंशियल टॉपिक नाउ सो Uh, welcome once again to this class, guys. My name is Gopal Paliwal. I am a master teacher of mathematics here at Vidanto. I have done my graduation from IIT Dhanbad. Been teaching from the past five years. You can see the credentials on your screen. Okay. Now this chapter's weightage, as per the previous uh, like uh, chapter, uh, previous papers, and uh, is is around four marks. Okay. So four to five marks you can expect right now. And since this question is going to be MCQ based है ना this time so questions can be found very easily from this topic so it it is also going to be a very important topic for all of you ठीक है so in this session बेटा we'll be talking about introduction and problems on areas and perimeter of a circle which all of us are very familiar and then sector of a circle I'll introduce you to the sector of circle as well ठीक है all right ठीक है so the next session after we'll complete this sector the next session is going to be about the segment of a circle it's just one step further than the sector and after that the last one is areas of combination of plane figures so when we combine two or more circle circular shapes so how do we get those areas so that's what we are going to discuss in this particular chapter theek hai so let's start with our first session guys now this is the question which will be able to solve by the end of this class theek hai by the end of the class will be able to solve this kind of question now let's move ahead to dekho beta we have seen different kind of objects hai na if you'll see around you you'll see different objects hai na and all those different objects mathematically they are a shape for us right suppose any box you are looking at so that box is a cuboid for us you look at the uh, say your door so that is a rectangular hole for us hai na the, that door space All right. Uh, anything, anything, any, anything. Your your bottle. It will be like the cap of the bottle, cylindrical, something like that. All right. So you can understand there are different shapes. Okay. And some of them are combination of it. For example, the tip of this pen. So it is cylindrical at the bottom, and at the top it is a cone. Right. So all these figures are shapes for us in mathematics. 
and we'll be talking about circle out of all this we'll be talking about in particular about circle and we'll talk about its perimeter and circum uh, perimeter which is nothing but circumference so for circle we call it circumference and its area is uh, sorry its circumference is 2 pi r and since we know 2 r is equal to diameter so we can also say pi d all of you know very well circumference or perimeter is the length of the boundary all right so you can imagine that suppose if you have a circle if you tie a thread along its boundary so the length of thread required will be equal to its circumference or its perimeter then comes area so area of a circle is pi r square area of a circle is pi r square and that is like the surface occupied or the region occupied okay region enclosed by the circumference so once we have drawn a circle beta this red part which is saying its length will be called circumference and this region enclosed by it will be your area all right so these are the two formulas let's look at some questions take a first question the difference between the circumference and radius of a circle is 37 cm using pi equal to 22 7 22 by 7 find the circumference of the circle now guys understand very clearly they have clearly told difference between circumference and radius so circumference we know is 2 pi r minus radius is r is equal to 37 given let's solve this so if i take pi common sorry if i take r common if i take r common i left with 2 pi minus 1 is equal to 37 so i can say r is equal to 2 times of 22 by 7 minus 1 is equal to 37 take lcm over here so r is equal to 44 7 ones are 7 minus 7 divided by 7 is equal to 37 and you can clearly see r is equal to 37 upon 7 is equal to 37 now this 37 to 37 got cancer shift 7 over there r is equal to 7 centimeter right radius is equal to what beta radius is equal to 7 centimeter once i got to know that the radius is 7 centimeter you can clearly say circumference 2 pi r will be equal to 2 into pi into r which is nothing but 44 centimeters okay this is what is going to be my answer easy question nothing no difficulty right okay next question they go again again they'll give you some information according to that and now see suppose in rectangle length and breadth two dimensions are there in circumference in circle you have only one thing to know that is which is radius so only focus on the radius okay find the diameter of a circle whose area is equal to some of the areas of two circles having radius as 4 centimeter and 3 centimeter so let's say we have a circle of radius r whose area is equal to area of a circle of radius 3 centimeter and a circle of radius 4 centimeter that's what the question is saying okay area so area wise i can say its area is going to be pi r square is equal to pi its radius is 3 square and plus pi its radius is 4 square i can take pi common over here pi r square is equal to take pi common you are left with 3 square plus 4 square pi to pi got cancelled you got r square 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16, is 25. All of you can see R is 5 centimeter. So once radius is 5 centimeter, I can clearly say diameter is 2 times of radius, which is 2 times of 5, which is 10 centimeter. Done, done, done. done. What else? Nothing. Easy questions. Okay. Okay. Next question. The areas of two circles are in the ratio 4 is to 9. What is the ratio between their circumferences? So this time, the question is given you the ratio of the areas of two circles. So let's say there is one circle whose radius is R1 and another circle whose radius is let's say R2. The ratio of their areas is 4 is to 9. So area of this circle will be pi into R1 square upon pi into R2 square is equal to 4 is to 9 pi to pi got cancelled i can say sir, here r1 by r2 whole square both have square so i can say it is whole square is 4 is to 9 do square root on both the sides you will get r1 by r2 is equal to square root of 4 by 9 
which means 2 by 3. Done, 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 done. So, ratio of the radius is what? 2 by 3. Once we got to know that the ratio of radius is, is equal to 2 by 3, let's find the ratio of their circumferences. So, 2 pi r1 upon 2 pi r2, right? Pi to pi cancel, 2 to 2 got cancel. So, I can say the ratio is nothing but r1 by r2, which is equal to 2 by 3. So, ratio of the circumferences of both the circle is 2 is to 3, same as the ratio of their radiuses. Okay, next question, before I go ahead guys, one very important announcement that Vedantu has got 120 plus selections, all right, and that is across 17 different states in NTSC stage 1 and the count is still increasing and uh, I know many of you are also opting for Vedantu's NTSC courses, right, so we have launched Vedantu NTSC crash course in which we'll be completing both the stage 1 and stage 2 syllabus. Also, it is going to help you to all my dear students who are watching this video right now also understand this thing that your boards are going to be MCQ based right now. NTSE exam is also going to, is MCQ based. So it is really good. It would be really good if all of you prepare for NTSE because in that sense, you will be preparing for your boards as well because NTSE level is comparatively higher. So if you are preparing for NTSE, your boards are already clarified. Your boards are already clear. Alright, so that's a very important thing right now. I'll tell you about the course as well. The fee is very less and you will be getting a lot of benefits because it comes with a test series as well. So I'll tell you more how it can be useful for your board's examination. Everything we'll be discussing at the end of the class. Let's move ahead for the next topic. The next topic which we are discussing right now is sector of a circle. Now what is the meaning of sector of a circle, beta? Uh, all of you have seen a pizza, right? Pizza, all of you have seen. So, how the slice of pizza comes out? That slice of a pizza is nothing but sector. Okay? So, what is the sector? Beta sector is the region. Ab dekho, in, da, in definition, if someone asks you what is the sector, you will not say a slice of a pizza. So, what is the definition? Definition is, ki dekho, first understand the, uh, the what I am telling you right now and then we look for the definition. Dekho, what, what I am saying? Ki be from the center, This is your center, take a this is your center, and this is called an arc. This is called an arc. What is this called? Arc. Take a arc. It is an arc. What is the definition of arc? Let me tell you that first. So arc is nothing but it is part of the circumference. It is some part of the circumference. Now, since it is the smaller part it will be called minor arc and the remaining portion this one from they go apb is the minor arc and this aqb this will be your major arc because it is the bigger one okay one is minor arc one is major arc you'll say sir what if both are equal then it will be semicircle Hey na? Diameter divides the circumference into equal parts. These are semicircle. Otherwise, anything else, you will be getting minor arc, major arc. Okay. Once that is done, beta. Now, after that, understand this thing very clearly. Ki bhai minor arc, major arc, part of the circumference. If it is the smaller part, minor arc. If it is the bigger part, major arc. Alright. Now, what is a sector? So, dekho, arc was dealing with the circumference. So, arc is some part of the perimeter some part of the perimeter so arc is a length arc is nothing but length arc is nothing but length okay it can be measured with a scale but sector sector is a surface sector is a surface it has an area all right so sector is what they go from center they go you have a minor arc over here you have a minor arc over here a b if you join o with the end points if you join o with the end points of this minor arc if you join o with the end points of this minor arc then the region listen very carefully then the region enclosed between then the region enclosed between the two radiuses and the minor arc. This region, this region 
इज कॉल्ड योर माइनर सेक्टर ठीक है दिस रीजन इज कॉल्ड योर माइनर सेक्टर सो दैट्स वॉट द डेफिनेशन वॉज सेम इट इज अ रीजन इंक्लोज बाय द टू रेडियस एंड द करेस्पॉन्डिंग आर्क वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ करेस्पॉन्डिंग आर्क बेटा ओर यर कि देखो इफ इट इज द रीजन if it is the region between the two radiuses if it is the region between the two radiuses and the minor arc and the minor arc then i can say it is going to be a minor sector and if it is the region between the two radiuses and the major arc it is going to be the major sector all right that's why corresponding arc If you take minor arc, you'll get minor sector. If you take major arc, you'll get major sector. ठीक है? अब बेटा देखो, since sector is a surface, we'll talk about its area. How do I find out the area of a sector? So you can clearly understand over here one thing, बेटा. ध्यान से देखो यहाँ पे. Area of a sector. Area of a sector is like same way the arc is a part of the circumference. Sector also is part of area of circle yes or no it is a part of the area of the circle theek hai ab beta dekho all of you must be remembering that thing ye sabko yaad hoga ki suppose in when you are in grade 3 grade 4 all of you must have solved questions like ki uh, if three t-shirts cost say rupees 900 find the cost of five t-shirts so what you will say ki sir three t-shirts cost 900 so cost of one t-shirt will be 900 by 3 which is 300 so if cost of one t-shirt is 300 cost of five t-shirts will be 300 into 5 which is 1500 all of you know that right it has been done same thing will apply over here as well same thing will apply over here as well dekho now how do we get that dekho main thing is If you see the complete circle, this complete circle has an angle of 360 degrees. It this complete circle has an angle of 360 degree. And whenever I talk about an arc on a sector, it associates itself with some angle theta. Some angle we can say कि देखो if arc is also there, it will be ang subtending some angle theta at the center. If a sector is also there, it will be subtending some angle theta at the center. So theta is the angle subtended subtended means what it holds at the center angle subtended at the center theek hai clear hai easy hai na theta whatever the sector be it major by it minor anything theta is the angle subtended by it at the center now i'll say ki sir dekho let's talk about the arc length theek hai let us talk about the arc okay if i talk about the arc then it will be easy for understanding the uh, it will be easy for understanding that as well uh, area of sector dekho arc ki baat karte beta arc we have learned it is a part of the circumference theek hai to we know ki sir when the angle is complete 360 degrees when the angle rotates complete 360 degrees in that case my total circumference the length of this full circumference is 2 pi r when the angle at the center is complete angle 360 degrees full circle the length of the circumference is 2 pi r so i can say for every degree for each degree for each degree how much is the length by suppose for 1 degree how much will be the length i can say for 1 degree it is going to be nothing but 2 pi r divided by 360 degree for 360 degree if the length of the circumference is 2 pi r so for 1 degree it will be 2 pi r upon 360 and for this arc minor arc which is supposed say subtending an angle theta over here i can say sir for theta degrees it will be 2 pi r upon 360 which is for 1 degree multiply that with theta and that's what we get the formula length of the arc is theta by 360 into 2 pi r that's what we get our formula from length of an arc is equal to theta by 360 into 2 pi r same as the unitary method ठीक है, ऑलराइट, 360 डिग्री इस 2 पाई आर, 1 डिग्री इस 2 पाई आर बाय 360, तो थीटा डिग्री विल बी सेम थिंग, देखो, कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री टीशर्ट्स, देखो, सेम एस द प्रीवियस ओनली, देखो, सेम थिंग, आई एम अप्लाइंग ओवर हियर, कॉस्ट ऑफ थ्री टीशर्ट्स इस सपोज 900, 
cost of one will be 900 by 3 300 so cost of five t-shirts 300 into 5 same thing 360 degrees the length of circumference is 2 pi r so for 1 degree 2 pi r by 364 for theta degree 2 pi r by 360 into theta okay all right so beta from here we get the length formula for length of the arc length of arc but it is not minor arc or major arc whatever theta it is if theta represents the minor arc it will represent the uh, minor uh, if, if theta represents the minor arc it will be the length of minor arc and if theta represents the major arc it will be the length of major arc okay so length of arc will be theta upon 360 into 2 pi r okay let us say guys it was minor arc let's say according to this diagram it was minor arc okay let's say according to the diagram it was minor arc so now i can say ki, sir major arc ka kaise karenge so there are two ways there are two ways suppose in this diagram i am saying theta represents angle subtended at minor arc angle subtended by minor arc by minor arc i am saying okay so i can say length of major arc Chalo, let's say i am saying minor arc Although it can be any arc depending, represent, depending upon theta. If I give you the angle of the major arc directly, you can use that as well. So I can say the length of major arc according to our diagram. Length of major arc, I can say sir one way is ki, sir, the remaining angle over here will be 360 minus theta. So angle subtended by the major arc is 360 minus theta upon 360. Whatever is the angle upon 360 into 2 pi r or you can say the length of major arc will be circumference of circle minus length of minor arc obviously by from this complete circumference if i subtract the length of minor arc i'll get the remaining length which is the length of major arc okay so any of this formula can be used up similarly better they go area also if you use the same method, they go for 360 degree, the area is 2 pi r. So, 1 degree, it will be 2, uh, sorry, for 360 degree, the area is pi r square. So, for 1 degree, it will be pi r square by 360. So, for theta degree, it's pi r square by 360 into theta. Okay? So, same way, beta, we can say area of the sector is theta by 360 into pi r square. I have told you, it is the part of the area. So, theta by 360 tells us how much part into the area. Okay? All right, a bit of same way. If I give you the area of the minor sector, area of major sector, you can say ki if the angle of minor sector is theta, major sector will be 360 minus theta upon 360 into part 2 pi r square, or area of the circle minus the area of the minor sector. Okay, it can be done like this area of major sector is pi r square, area of circle minus area of the minor sector. Okay. Simple hai beta. Chalo. Let's look at some questions once the formulas are done. Questions are very easy. The length of the minute hand of a clock is 14 centimeter. The area swept by it by the minute hand in 5 minutes. Dekho, ye clock hai. And length of the minute hand is nothing but your radius which is 14 centimeter. They are saying ki in 5 minute duration, suppose from here to here, it is your 5 minutes. So, here theta is not given to us. In 5 minutes, how much angle this minute hand will rotate, that is not given, but it is not very difficult. Dekho, what I can say, ki, sir, in 60 minutes, how much angle minute hand rotates? 360 degrees. In 60 minutes, the minute hand will complete one full circle, 12 to 12. So, for 60 minutes, the complete angle is 360 degrees. So, for 1 minute, it will be how much? So, for 1 minute, it will be 360 upon 60 which means 6 degrees that means for every minute every minute the minute hand rotates by 6 degrees any clock it will rotate by 6 degrees so in 5 minutes how much it will rotate so 6 degrees into 5 which is 30 degrees so now i got to know that sir my theta is equal to 30 degree so area swept area of sector will be theta by 360 into pi r square so 30 by 360 into pi 
into r radius is 40 theek hai this so this got cancelled 3 ones are 3 12 times uh, 7 ones are 7 2 the and uh, then i can say 2 6 the and 2 11 times and uh, then anything else i can say yeah so 2 ones are 2 3 times so 14 into 11 if we'll do it will be 154 by 3 centimeter theek hai centimeter square centimeter square 154 by 3 centimeter square this will be the area of this sector okay 154 by 3 which is 51.33 hai na nothing but 51.33 centimeter square all right next question in a circle of radius 21 centimeter an arc subtains an angle of 60 degree at the center find the length of the arc area of sector because how easy it is yaar radius is given 21 centimeter theta is given 60 degree so first one length of arc length of arc will be theta by 360 into 2 into pi into r so this is one za this is six za six three za two cancel three ones are three seven za seven to seven got cancel you got 22 centimeters second one area of sector will be theta by 360 into pi into r square all right so this is one times this is six times two threes are two eleven times and a three sevens are 21 got cancelled 11 into 21 is one three two two thirty one centimeter square done this is how this question will be done. Direct formula question. So now let's come to our question of the day. Questions are very easy if you'll understand the concept. A horse is tied to a peg at one corner. Peg is that, that, that uh, wooden rod you'll see na, around which will tie the chain. Hai na? You must have seen if you are in Vintu village or if you have visited any, uh, uh, any, any, any village place or something. So like they'll put a rod around which they'll put the chain so that uh, they will not run. Hai na? So that is the peg over here. Theek hai? Uh, at one corner of a square shaped grass field. Remember main thing for us. Not the grass field but square. So this is a square. All sides are equal and all angles are 90 degree. Simple main thing. Alright. Of side 15 meters. Chalo. Bawad badiya sa 15 meters. Uh, 50 meters by a, by a 5 meter long rope. This rope is of 5 meters. This rope is of 5 meters. The area of that part of the field in which the horse can graze. And the increase in the grazing area if the rope were 10 meter long instead of 5 meters. So, look. If this rope is of length 5 meter, I can say maximum it can go up to a length of 5 meters. So, like maximum this is the 5 meter length. So, he can collect a horse. If, the, if I fix the length. The horse can maximum move in a circular region. Circle's definition is that only. Fix a point. You can do this also. Fix a point and tie a thread and make the circle, make round around it. That's how you'll get a circle. Theek hai? So maximum it can graze this 5 meter radius. So the this is nothing, if you look at this, this is nothing but a sector in which theta is 90 degree and radius is 5 meters. Yes or no? So first one, area. Grazing area will be theta by 360 into pi, take pi as 3.14 into r square, radius is 5 square. Theek hai? 90 ones are 94 times, so 3.14 into 25 into 4, you will get your answer. Second one they are saying, if we increase the rope by 10 meter, so in second one if you will increase the rope by 10 meter, so this time the radius will be 10 meters. What else? Nothing. Angle will be same. So it will be theta by 360 into pi into r square which is 10 into 10. Chalo. So this is 1 times. This is 4 times. Yana. So this will be 314 upon 4 which is 5 sevens are 20. 4 sevens are 28. 4 eights are 32.5. meters square. In the second one, quickly easy. Here also you can calculate. Here also 
you can calculate it will be 1 by 4 times of it. Okay, so first one, second one is 78.5 and in the first case, first case, first case, first case, where it is, uh, area gaze previously is this, area gaze previously is 19.625, okay, we will write it over here, 19.625. Now they are asking increasing the grazing area. So increase in the grazing area will be 78.5 minus 19.625, subtract it, you will get your answer. Hey na? So final increase is 58.875 meters square. Okay, bacho. So with this we have finished our sectors problem of the circle and basic perimeter and circumference. Once you have understood the sector, the way I have told you, if you have understood that, the next session will be very easy for you to understand the segment. Alright, now this is a question which I am giving you for your homework. I would really like all of you to let me know what is the answer for the first part as well as the second part in the comment section down below. And guys, remember your future depends upon what you do today. All right, your future is always related to what you are doing now. Okay, so what you will do now, you will get the result of it in the future. Okay, so do let me know, guys, in the homeworks answer in the comment section, and we'll see who are the homework stars for the next class. Acha. Now I was telling you guys that as we have launched Vedantu's NTSC crash course, so how it is really good thing right now for you to prepare, how it is more relevant for you to prepare because now boards as well as the NTSC both are, uh, both will be conducted in MCQ pattern. So that's the first thing. Now if you are preparing for NTSC, your boards are already, you are able to prepare because NTSC is of higher level. Say so the third thing is we'll be completing all the subjects, maths, physics, chemistry, biology, SST, that too for NTSC. So NTSC may cover ho hai, to, you know the syllabus overlap for boards and NTSC, the syllabus overlap, right? So that will be prepared over there. Along with that, mental liberty test also will be conducted. So you can clearly see, guys, all your subjects will be covered. First help. Next thing deko, will be taught in the live classes. So that's a good benefit covering stage one and stage two. Quick syllabus will be finished. Next thing, the most important thing which I would say in this course is this test series. Test series is a must whenever you are preparing for any examination. And in this test series, beta, you are getting 50 plus chapter wise test and 14 plus mock test. So with mock test, you can prepare for your NTSC examination and chapter wise test when you are conducting, you'll be able to go through all the important questions of all the chapters. So like you are preparing for your board examination as well through this help of this uh, test series, right? Also, the classes will be taught live. Recording will be made available to you so that you can watch the recording whenever you want for your revision. And you can ask unlimited doubts in the class. Also, in the Vedantu's doubts app as well after the classes. Then there is in-depth solution of the previous year papers. Their solution, their analysis will be shared with you. You will be telling you that what are the important concepts which we have seen in the NTS examination where you should focus more and summarize notes, key concept, all the important formulas will be provided to you at one place. Now all this thing guys, you are getting it a very less price and in that also you can get more benefit by using this coupon code GPE Pro and it will give you 10 percentage off further. Let me quickly show you how you can register for this course. Say for example guys, if you go to the, uh, uh, suppose this box pinned comment section, you'll see buy Vedantu NTSC crash course or here in the description box, Vedantu NTSC crash course. Just click on this link. Once you click on this link, therefore it is telling you all the features, all physics, chemistry, maths, biology, social studies, aptitude, all will be covered. Aptitude is your mental ability test. Okay. And you can see guys, NTSC live classes, NTSC test series, which I have told you, master classes will also be conducted recording and class notes will be shared with you practice makes perfect and ready so that's obviously there take a all right so that's a really good package right now which you are getting you can buy this course just click over here on buy now now the price which you are seeing as 5000 will be reduced by applying gpe pro by 10 percentage and the final price you are getting is 4500 and in this beta you are getting the access to doubts app as well so even after the class, when you are solving, you have more books of NTSC and when you are solving it and you are getting doubts, you don't have to go to thousands of places and search 
for hours on the internet for the solution. You just have to click the photo of the doubt, post it on the doubt set and your doubt will be answered. All right. So that's the amazing thing which you are getting. Also, let me show you like how the notes and all you'll be able to see. Suppose if you go in the past classes, you can get the notes by clicking on get notes of the past classes and you'll be able to see the notes of your past classes and that too it will be in your teacher's own handwriting. Okay. You can see it is everywhere in my own handwriting. You are able to see over here. See all the notes which I have written. Okay. Pura, pura, everything in my handwriting. Okay. So that's all you are going to get. Also, if you want to watch the recording, click on replay of whatever class you want to watch. Suppose if you want to watch this class, click on replay. Simple. Okay. You want to watch the, uh, like you want to attend the quizzes also, click on try alternate replay. You'll be able to attend the quizzes in the, uh, what do I say? in the uh, replay as well. So in the replay also you'll be able to attend the quizzes and see your uh, marks and your names in the leaderboard. All right. So a very good course right now. Please don't miss this opportunity and it should not be too late. Anna. It's better you take the course now and enjoy all the benefits. So thank you so much guys. I hope all of you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like this video if you have enjoyed it. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel. If you are new here, thank you so much guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Sayonara for the half is 200 of you guys. Bye-bye.